Hello everyone, Ernie Hartman here, Technical Services Manager at AMP Global. In today's video, I'm going to go over how to test analog steering wheel control circuits in the event that you're installing a steering wheel control module and are having issues with it not working. So what I have here is a steering wheel out of a 2013 Hyundai Sonata. And I've got a module that is equivalent of a SWI CP2 or SWI RC1 and a Kenwood radio. So as you can see right now, you know, the buttons are all working. And you can tell that by seeing the LED flash whenever you press a button. And of course the radio itself is responding. So what happens if the module's not working and you need to check and see if you're on the proper wire. Well, Hyundai here is a bit of an anomaly. As you can see here on this wiring that it only has a one wire system. So in order to make this vehicle work with this module, you need to hook up the ground for the module. You need to ground the steering wheel control circuit. You need to hook up constant power. You need to hook up switched power, and you need to hook up the steering wheel control analog wire, which in this case is the white and red. Now these are the wire colors in the vehicles. Obviously I don't have a vehicle here, so you know I can't show you that, but I can show you how to test the circuit on these wires here. So let's go ahead and do that. The best way to do the testing is if you have everything wired up to your steering wheel control module here, is to just go ahead and unplug it like so and then on the back side right here you can get to the pins quite easily using a meter I have my meter here set to ohms now if you have an auto ranging meter you don't really have to worry about the value you're set at because the meter will auto range and detect it automatically this meter is not auto ranging and I know that Hyundai uses pretty high values on the steering wheel control buttons that are usually 10k and up which incidentally uh, a little bit of extra trivia here is why we're using the white and red wire because that's the input on the module that looks for higher values so I've got this meter here set to 20k we'll go ahead and start there because that's a pretty good range so what you want to do is take the ground lead and place it on the ground pin there. And then you want to take the red lead and place it on the white and red wire, which is what we have it connected to. Now we can go ahead and start pushing buttons. So if we push and hold volume up, see how the meter changed value. So looking at that meter now, the value of our volume up button is about 4.7 K ohm. So now if we go to volume down, you see that's 6.9. Then we hit track up. And this is at 0.5 K ohm, which means 500 ohms. We go down, that's at 1.1 K ohm. I gotta keep turning the slide on. Down again, 1.1 K ohm. Mode, 2.1 K ohm. Mute, 3.2. Go down here to voice, 10.9. So there's your high value. Answer. Okay, we're not getting a reading on this, so that means this is, must be higher than, than normal. So we're going to switch up here to 200K. Turn the light back on. So there we go. So that was 42K ohm, which is really high. And we hit the end. It's 19K ohm. So as you can see here with it correctly wired, we're getting readings on all of the buttons. 
Now, what were to happen if you had it incorrectly wired? So we'll just jump over here to this wire, the white wire that isn't connected to anything. So again, Hyundai, Hyundai is a bit of an anomaly because it only uses one wire for the module. Um, most cars like Toyota, Honda, they have two, maybe even three separate steering wheel control wires, which if that was the case, you'd be using the white, the white and black, and the white and red. Um, but again, it's Hyundai, all buttons are on one wire, we're only using the white and red. So I'll just jump over here to the white wire, like I said, it's not connected to anything. And obviously we get an open reading here, push a button, we get nothing, right, because we're not on a completed circuit. So if you're in the car and you're probing the wire that you are connected to and you're not getting a reading when you push a button, that means you're not on the right wire and you need to probe different wires. So a lot of times we get asked about the pinouts on the app. You know, the colors on the app don't match the colors in my vehicle. And as I went over in the Control Pro video, wire color doesn't matter so much as pin location. It's always about the pin location, and that is what matters most. So, you know, we got this connected properly. Plug it back in. Red light is good. It means that it's on, providing accessory output and ready to work. And then when we push the button, mode turns it on, volume up, volume down, and that's it. That's how you test the steering wheel control wires in a vehicle. Hope you enjoyed the video, and we'll see you in the next one.